Hey there guys, how are you doing? Today we're going to do the first part on our deck. So this is going to be the foundation. So how we're going to do this foundation is pretty much we're going to use threaded rods, your general garden uh, plastic pots, which are absolutely awesome. They're not very strong, but we're going to make them incredibly strong and some rapid set. So what we're going to do, we've got our threaded rod here. This is 1.2 meters. We're going to cut them down to 200 mils. Our nut at the bottom, we've got a loose washer and then we've got the, the nut sitting there. So we want to give it a little bit of a space, so pretty much what's going to happen is that we've got our pot here, we're going to draw a hole in the top, we're going to stick the pot pretty much straight on top, so the threaded rod will be sitting in the middle, up out, uh, probably about 100 mil, I think the beams that we're using are 100 mil, so that'll be absolutely perfect. And what it's going to do is sit on top of this nut, the rapid set's going to be put into the bucket. We're going to have to seal up all the holes at the bottom because at the bottom of all these pots have got holes, guys. Okay, so we've got our angle grinder here. Unfortunately, I only have a grinding disc. Uh, this will do to cut this rod. Preferably, I'd rather use a cutoff wheel, but you know, this is what I've got at the moment, so let's deal with that. So we've got our tape measure and the threaded rod. I've just got a marker here, and we're going to mark it every 200 mil. Once you mark your first one, you don't have to use the tape measure, just line up your, your rod and just transfer those marks to the other rod. Okay guys, whenever you're cutting this type of uh, threaded rod, you need to make sure that you put a nut on before you cut it, otherwise it'll absolutely stuff the threads. We've got a galvanized rod all ready to cut, so what we're gonna do is put it on this platform. We've got this clamp. And we're just going to clamp it in place, that way it won't move around too much. There we go, that's nice and secure. Well that's a pretty clean cut, so what we're going to do is just tidy it up with the grinder. So when you're cleaning it up, you want to taper the end of it, that way it gets off any of the shards so it's nice and smooth to touch. And if you do it right, you should be able to thread on the bolt. If you can't, like I can't right now because you can see that it's pushed the thread in, that's why you've got the nut here. You can easily remove the nut rather than put one on when it's like this type of thread. So once we get into the end, it'll bite in a little bit, but it'll clear all that steel in the thread and it'll make it so much easier for you to put it back on and off see nice and easy guys well now we've got our threaded rod all marked up so what we've done is we've just marked one and line them all up and then just done a mark all the way across so now we've got our hundred so that's pretty much going to be the top of the threaded rod this part will be sitting inside the bucket so that'll be where our beam will sit on top so what we're going to do is we're going to countersink down and then put one of the nuts on top. That way it will hold the beam in place. But right now, what we're going to do is we're just going to thread on a nut. Now this one's one of the end pieces, so I didn't clean up this end, but that's all good. You only need one clean end to do this. So we're going to thread on that nut, put on the washer, and put on another nut. So we're going to get this nut all the way to the bottom. Now ideally I want this nut to be midway, or at least on the line. That way when the beam sits on, it might be like 5mm short from being the flush from the beam. So that'll be a lot easier to make sure. Otherwise we're going to have to go along and grind each single one. Okay, so we've got a pot here now that we've got our bolts all set up. So what we've got now is our drill. And what we're going to do is find the exact centre of the pot. Very slowly drill because they're very thin guys. Now we've got the hole in the centre of the pot. We need to cover up these holes. Otherwise the rapid set's just going to pour straight out. So what we're using here is just a bit of tape. Just going to run around the edge of it. Top as well. Just to make sure it's definitely sealed. 
Alrighty, so we've taped up all the pots. So what I did when I drilled this hole is I actually chose a drill bit so slightly smaller than we really needed. That way, when I go to thread through the threaded rod, it's nice and tight. So our next step is we're gonna grab this washer, it's gonna get a little bit of tape, and just tape it on. That way it'll suspend while we put the uh, rapid set on. All right guys, now for the fun bit, we get to do the rapid set. Alrighty, so that's all the pots set up. I've made sure that all the bolts are absolutely perfect. We started to clean off underneath because it does make a bloody mess. So I've just used the shovel and scooped as much of it out of the way as possible. Now we're just going to get the hose and hose it all off. Alrighty, so our pots are pretty much all done. So I'm going to go get changed, got a little wet when I was cleaning up. I was actually cleaned off a little bit of rapid set that go on my pants and my shirt, just little splashes, but it's all good. So I'm going to go get changed, I'm going to let these dry, and we'll have awesome foundations for our deck. This is the first part on our deck, this is the foundations. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching guys, very much appreciate it. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be absolutely awesome. And stay tuned for the next part in the series, guys. See ya!